was a very, very sketchy plane ride. Very, especially when we landed, we made a couple of turns. <laughs> and Atlas didn't like it that much, did you, Atlas? I think Atlas wants to talk. Atlas loves you all. Oh, Atlas, I... <laughs> Pretty cold, let me just say that. I just finished my dessert and so did everyone else, you know, as you can see, by the time we get home now. and I would oh, like to introduce you to one of our special guests, Una. Well, how's everybody in Australia? <laughs> Not just in Australia, this is all over the world. All over the world, the spirit is moving. <laughs> yeah, well we're gonna go, so we'll catch you later guys. Another surprise for Isabel is that we are here in the city tonight and what are we doing? Well, we are seeing Swan Lake because the surprise was from Mum's grandma and my great grandma as a Christmas present and it's amazing. And what's even better is, can you see? Look around, guess who's not here? We have no baby with us tonight, which she's pretty excited about. So we are seeing the Moscow Ballet performing Swan Lake. I'm going to talk to you about last night's ballet because we didn't get to tell you because it got very late and we had to catch a train back which was like 15 minutes and by the time we got back it was about half past 12 and I have to say my favourite part of it would have to be the costumes because they looked amazing, they were beautiful, my favourite costume was the one where she was half white and half black, it was amazing. Today we are going to have a look at Lord Powerscourt's home, I believe. It's like a castle, really not a home. But now it's open for tourists, so it's no, no longer really a, a Lord's house. But apparently it's amazing. 
so I'm gonna take you on through. Lots of salt though, a lot of salt. Why is there salt? Um, so then it makes the snow disappear, I think. As you can see, there's a lot of snow salt. <laughs> what are you going to do with that piece of salt? <laughs> I don't know. But it's an amazing view, especially when you're down the bottom. Um, the, the fountain's pretty cool. And down where the, the man squirts water out, it's very cool. I recommend take checking out this place there's a lovely cafe and there's some really nice shops and inside the shops there's Bert's Bees my favorite I think something that I've failed to show you on this trip is how much shopping we have done I am currently in like a department store I'm actually in the homewares Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to bring any of it home, which I'm not very happy about because I really like the knickknack types of things. So we've actually spent a lot of time in island shopping. It has been really cold outside, but the prices are ridiculous. We're buying things for like half the price we would in Australia, and I just don't even understand why. Something I just wanted to show you is St. Patrick's Day is coming up next month, and all of the things that they've got is so quirky and fun, so I'll show you that. Seriously, what is this? I'm winning. Half of my chickens I, I think I'm winning. Half of my chickens, why? Oh no. I, I think I'm winning. <laughs> no, no, no. I need the donut shop. <laughs> going for a walk in downtown Bro and we found this beautiful beach that Isabel's going to take her shoes off and go for a run along. I'll just, I'll show you the beach. There's some nice rocks there. I'm going to throw up mum. <laughs> found my husband. It's gelato! In the gelato store. Honey We're now all in the ice cream shop eating ice cream. Incorrect. This is a gelato store, Ellie. Isn't it, baby? Traveling Europe with a baby in a pram is to bring one of these rain covers that we never use back home. We bought it in case it snowed, but it turns out that it's been great keeping the cold wind out. Obviously, we're all geniuses. Wonderful! 